Selfridges is looking very festive. I'm kind of feeling in the festive spirit now, I don't know why. Um, but I'm on my way to the Brasserie of Light um, dining area, which is this way, um, for a lovely lunch with Atkinson. So once I get there, I'll be able to show you a lot more about it. in this beautiful room. My camera's already full of glitter. It is stunning in here. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Christmas tree. And we've got all their fragrances. I've actually tried none of their fragrances before, so I'm really excited. I believe this is the new scent that we are going to be learning all about. It's the Gold Flare in Mayfair. Hey, and Jamie, I knew and I missed it. It's been a long, hot minute. <laughs> I know, I haven't seen you before. And I'm trying to do vlogmas this year. She's trying to do vlogmas. The struggle is real. Every day. I know. I was hoping you would be here. And we've got Christmas crackers. We've got Christmas crackers. <laughs> So the story began uh, with a gentleman called Mr. James Atkinson back in 1799. And he had a pet bird. I know it's not very easy, but it happened. We have our fragrances in our flagships. Selfridges being one of them. Huge conquerors, which we do uh, lovely exclusives. This is the white rose fragrance and I think this is my favourite. Then we've got the breathing leaf. This one is the British bouquet, which I do like. And then there's a second one which I've forgotten the name, but I don't really like it anyway. So. This one I really love. Apparently this was made for Queen Victoria's great granddaughter. This is gold, gold flare. I was about to say gold flare. No, it's gold, gold flare in Mayfair, and it does smell like Christmas. It's so nice. As I said earlier, there's only two thousand bottles, so you're fortunate. Yeah. So, so, I'm ready to tap into something. 
this is like Christmas in a bottle and it is absolutely stunning. Jamie recommends. I recommend. It's really, really nice. What's my eyes look blue in this? <laughs> So you press on the blushes and powders and like cushiony. Let me show you. Oh my god, I love that. Oh my fingerprints are in them. For the Christmas gift doing a whole press thing um, yeah it's so good that it's so much because it's only in Harrods before and online so if you're in the UK then head over to here <laughs> so guys remember that facial I was telling you about that I had at the Switzerland with the prairie so I've just come to the counter here in Selfridges and I'm just trying out all them well I wanted to get some samples because I don't know, it's quite an investment. But if you're ever here, definitely come down, have a little try. Hey, do you do little um, on the counter like testing? So you could come to counter, they've got a little bit here where you can test them. But honestly, my skin was glowing afterwards, so you must try this. So 
so guys back home just editing a video and i just really wanted to talk to you about this film that i'm watching um it's called julie and julia um it's on sony movie channel and i thought you know what i just need something um to put on in the background while i edit my vlog and it turns out to be so inspiring this film you guys need to watch it it's so good especially if you're kind of like in my industry in fact i think it's for an, anyone any woman she's in her 30s um in a dead-end job on the phone talking to customers that just really treat it like shit in a small flat in like new york i can totally relate i'm in london london's one of the most expensive places ever to live and i'm quite lucky that i actually live on my own but it is a very small flat um and yeah then she just needs some sort of passion and she loves cooking and she started cooking after work as a release and kind of therapy then she wanted to start a food blog and so she thought one of her favorite um chefs female chefs has a cookbook and she's gonna like talk about her cookbook journey navigating through this woman called julia and the woman who started the blog is called julie and it's got Meryl Streep in it. It's got another famous um, actress who was in Enchanted. Who starred... I can't remember who that is. But yeah, it's just so inspiring. And currently, um, her blog is getting more successful. She's married. And her husband is kind of resenting her for it. Can we relate? Um, he's just set first like saying snarky comments... And then not really supporting her. And at the moment, I've just, it's on the break. And I just wanted to share it. They, they've just had a big argument. Basically saying, he said to her, she's a narcissistic. Basically saying, I can't, you know, can't wait for this all to be over. For you to go back to your normal life. And it just made me think, like, I don't think I've ever shared this. But I wanted to be single for a year. In 2017, I said, I want to be single for a year because I really want to pursue my dreams and my passions and my career and sometimes men they don't like it and I've had that in the past where at first men they love what I do they love that you're independent but then actually when it's not all always about them when you've actually got dreams and a meaning in life it means that they're no longer top priority and they actually don't like it and yeah i feel like i can talk more about that my past experiences i definitely will but this film is just it's really inspiring in the sense of it can happen to me. i mean and it does happen for sure i don't know why i feel like it doesn't but it does and i feel like almost women with careers it's like a cock block it takes a very strong unique individual to be a partner of someone who's equally as strong um and yeah and that sometimes the fail like relationships fail because of it or well, sometimes people stay in relationships because they don't want the shame of breaking up and they're miserable and i just think i don't know what that's all about like you're meant to be happy in life but anyway, it's come back on. I want to continue watching this and continue editing my vlog. I'll give you an update and hopefully it has a happy ending. Hopefully she doesn't, her and her husband, stay on track. But they started off so in love, but she was miserable. She moved into this flat because of him. She made so many sacrifices because of him, but they were so in love. And now she's actually got purpose. That love is actually, I don't know, dissolving? Or was it actually even really there? I don't know, but yeah. I'll keep you posted. I wanted to get this on camera. Oh, where is it? Vlogmas day four published. Yay! Check it out, guys. Well, my, um, got my camera out. I finished watching that film about the girl and her blog and everything. And it actually had a happy ending. So they got back together and he supported her. And I think she ended up writing a book. Um, about her experience so she did really really well so there is hope out there for us singletons who want to have a successful life um but it's hard when you know the struggle with the guy but they did break up for a little bit and then they got back together so yeah it's just finding the right guy for you basically um and speaking of that i mean 
I'm actually going to go out on a date soon. I don't know if I should say this, but... No, I might say it. But anyway, um, I think that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know. Give this a thumbs up if you've been enjoying my Vlogmas series so far. And let me know what in particular you like about them. Um, do you want to see like more real stuff? Well, it is real. Guys, it can't get much realer than this, I'm telling you. Um... Or do you want it more creative or do you want it like more like fancy editing let me know um and i'll see you tomorrow guys Mwah. oh i just painted my nails as well while i was waiting for my video how gorgeous it's so shiny it's actually from ipi